Speaking of specifications of oscilloscopes, wavefront update rate is a very important index when it comes to selecting digital storage oscilloscope. In the past, engineers tended to use analog oscilloscope, which has a faster wavefront update rate than that of digital oscilloscope. The faster the wavefront update rate is, the better the engineers can observe smooth signals when observing fast changing signals. Waveforms measured will be more identical to the real DUT signals. GWNSEC GDS2008 oscilloscope has a waveform update rate of 80,000 waveforms per second, which is a tremendous technological breakthrough for oscilloscopes with equivalent function on the market. The following demonstration will verify GWNSEC GDS2008 oscilloscope has a waveform update rate of 80,000 waveforms per second. This demonstration will be divided into two parts. First, a visual comparison between GDS2008 and Brand X2000 series oscilloscope to explain that GDS2008 has a much better waveform update rate. GDB03 signal will be drawn by two passive probe to connect with GDS2008 and Brand X2000. Vertical synchronized signals from GDB03 video output are shown on both oscilloscopes. Waveform update rate of Brand X2000 is only hundreds of waveforms per second. Therefore, when observing the vertical synchronized signals of Brand X, only sporadic update rate can be obtained. The vertical synchronized update rate of GDS2008 is very swift and it has a very smooth display. When you use one hand hovering the camera lens, GDS2008 will show a very smooth update. And on the other hand, Brain X will have a very unstable update performance. Next, we are going to prove that GDS2008 has the fastest waveform update rate of over 80,000 waveforms per second. We are going to use signals from the building function generator module of GDS2008 as testing signals. The frequency counter function of GDS 1000 AU of GW instead will also be used for this test to measure trigger output frequency from trigger circuit. By doing so, the waveform update rate can be measured. First, channel 1 off. The building function generator module of GDS 2008 will send a sine wave signal to channel 2. Press channel 2. Auto set. Press option. Select function generator 2. Select sine wave. And set frequency to 1 megahertz. Set time division to 500 nanosecond per division. Next, press acquire. Select record length to short. A passive probe will be used to connect demo port 1 of GDS 2008 with GDS 1000 AU. Next, select Utility, Demo Output, Demo 1, Turn Variable Knob to Trigger Output. The auto trigger signals will be sent to GDS 1000 AU. 
the frequency counter of GDS 1000 AU shows waveform update rate of over 8,000 waveforms per second. That ends the demonstration. Thank you.